Hey kids, this is Jurassic James, and this is Jurassic James Plains. We're looking at the Jurassic World Live Tour. Now, uh, disclaimer, I am not receiving any money. I have not, uh, I don't work for them. This is just my, I went to this thing, and I want to tell you what, what I think about it. And so basically what's going on is that, uh, you know, it's, I'm not sure where it's touring. I don't care about that part. That's the internet. We have that thing. But I went, there, my wife took me there from, actually, fun fact, here's a story. So in the spring of 2020, my wife bought, bought two tickets on the floor for row seats for this in July 2020. And the pandemic happened, and she had to get a refund. And so this August, we went again. She took it took me finally. And so as far as toys go, like I have these guys we're going to talk about in a minute. But I want to point out a couple things. I highly endorse this show uh, because, one, it's, it's kind of like a, it's more like a, it's like a play in some ways. Uh, it's not just, you know, I, I don't know what I was thinking it would have been, but they do have big anim animatronics. There's, you know, the T-Rex, the Stegosaurus. They have, uh, you know, like people in the raptor suits and stuff, and there's actors. And the story, is not, not to spoil, but the story, not, there's no spoiling. But in general, the story, it, it's parallel or in tandem with the movies. So uh, it essentially would take place between Jurassic World and uh, the, the first Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom. And they kind of, they hint at the movie and stuff, and it has its own story, and it's just, it's, I, it, I, you would think, oh, it's for kids, because I went there dressed like this, and people thought I worked there, because obviously, um, but, but I, but, it's, but adults, like my wife, she's not a paleontologist, she's very normal, and when I watch and do things, I'm like, what do you think about this, and she'll tell me her opinion, and she, she liked it a lot, she's like, this is really, it was fun, it was exciting, it was, it, the ending was very uh, triumphant, it was very fun, and it's, uh, so, like I said, I, I can't. I don't want to spoil it because I mean, obviously, go see it. But I will give a warning. There are, and it, it's in on, on online. There are pyrotechnics. There are parts with flames shoot out and explosions and things. And even though I mean, if that's been that uh, scares you, there's like I think four or five of those that happen. And uh, I mean, I knew I knew it was coming. If you can follow the storyline, you're like, there's something gonna explode, but it would go like that, right? But other than that, I mean, it's fun for kids. There's, I mean, there was always there's you know, snacks and everything. It's a good family event. Um, and so anyway, and so, and for, I will give you a warning. I sat, we were on the floor, so the pyrotechnics were like right there. <laughs> they were right in front of us. Whereas if you're probably in them like the, the, like the, 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 what do you call them, the stadium part, the upper part, it probably would be as, as a, a frightening uh, for you. Now, that being said, uh, the toys. So there, as far as toys go, they were just mainly these guys, and like I said, I personally was not like, yeah, you get those toys, but for me, I knew, like, this is, you know, it's a traveling show, it's a very rare thing, so why not? And, um, I wish there were more toys. There were a lot of plush stuff, the animals and stuff. There were a lot of stuff to buy, like, like the, the not tasers, but the Jurassic World, you know, these shark dinosaurs, like, those went, all those kinds of things that light up for kids and all that. Uh, I, of course, stick with more, kind of the basic stuff here, and, uh, I don't collect plush stuff, so there are a lot of plush dinosaur toys, too, and creatures, and critters and things, but I stuck to the, the, the hard line toys. And so I guess I'll start with the Stegosaurus, which is, plays a pretty nice role as an adult and baby Stegosaurus. Uh, again, it's the, I, I've already done the Stegosaurus toy review. Uh, it does have the Jurassic World four toes instead of three, which is weird because like the, the, the fourth toe, it really, it's like on the side. It's like, you could have just not made that. But anyway, uh, and so basically it's, it's for the Jurassic Park five dinosaurs, this is what it is. I will point out, it's like a rubbery, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like filled with cotton, maybe rubbery material like that, so it's very flexible. Uh, when it came, it had a little stand, not a stand, like a plastic to hold the feet apart. And so that's really really nice animal. Like I said, it's not, I've already reviewed Stegosaurus, but it's a good depiction of the Jurassic Park Stegosaurus, and I like it a lot. It's just really, it's a really cool thing. Uh, this Tyrannosaur, of course, um, for me, big deal. I like Rexy a lot. Uh, I like the fact, for me personally, I like the fact that it, it, it does have trouble standing somewhat. Um, so, I mean, well, okay, if it stands perfectly. Uh, but the idea is that it's like this really kind of weird stance, but it works. I do like the fact that the tail's so huge, uh, because that's, on, you know, I complain about that a lot, that the tails aren't big enough. And so, and, 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 I, and I won't, again, I won't spoil it, but the Tyrannosaur, I show the blader in the, in the show, and it's, you know, at the moment it shows up, it's like, wow, you know, it's, it's I, I, you know, I, again, I, I'm aware that part of it's nostalgia. I know my brain's like, I remember that's my childhood, yay, you know, but also just, you know, for me personally, I think I mentioned this with Dinosaur Park and Bastro, to see these, the, the animatronics or see larger models of dinosaurs that are fleshed out and just, you know, giant things, that still, you know, that, that, that's my 
you know, flame of excitement, right? Um, and again, she, and she has even the scars from when she fought the clever girl, the raptors. So if you don't know in a Jurassic World canon, the Tyrannosaurus from part one uh, was the same one from the Jurassic World movies. Uh, she did not show up in part two and like the Lost World and, and part three because that was on a different islands of two, you know, uh, the, the other Tyrannosaur family. So this is the original, they call her Rexy in the, not, I think officially now, but the fan base called her Rexy. And so Tyrannosaurus Rex is a pretty cool animal, so on so, so forth. Triceratops, it's again that, that Jurassic World Triceratops build and look. And you see from my Triceratops video that, I mean, this guy here looks like, um, you know, it's it's essentially a lot of toy. This, this this one is built to look like the Triceratops from the movie. And there's a Triceratops in the thing, of, of course. And But a lot of toys, if you remember my Triceratops video, had a lot of models. They are based on the Triceratops form, the movie, right? Uh, a little side note, just a little, I wanted to add this, I didn't mention in the first video. The Triceratops that Dr. Grant and, and Sattler and all of them are hanging out next to, that animal is like 15 feet long, and the real Triceratops is like 25, 28 feet long. So it's actually too small, even then. Kind of a fun thing to kind of wrap your head around. Uh, anyway, but really cool animal, of course. And, the, uh, we have, of course, there is a blue, blue's there, and I know blue, it, you know, there's a, a big push to make, like blue and Rexy are the stars of the, the, the these, these iconic characters, uh, not just the people, but the um, dinosaurs. There are other raptors too, which are kind of technically non-canon. And uh, the the main focus was a troodon, which is a troodon. I have troodon models. I'm not going to video it because right now what we know with troodon, I think it's been broken into different genuses, genres. And so, and I, and I just only have like two models of it. So I'm going to have more troodons before I talk about the animal. Uh, so I, I was actually disappointed. When I, when we, when we left the show, they didn't have a toy, the Troy It was like, darn, you know, that's like, I really, really wanted that. But, you know, this one stands pretty well in Dress Up Park stance, right, blue face and all that. Uh, there was a toy, uh, I went on a motorcycle, like a pullback big toy. I didn't, I don't want that. Uh, this thing, uh, this Triceratops, it's kind of like a cup or a bowl. And they sold it either two ways. One with like, uh, like a icy on it. Or by itself. I didn't want the IC. I just wanted the thing. I don't know why. Like I was like, I'm not going to buy any toys. And my wife was like, sure, you want, you, whatever you want. It's your, your birthday thing. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy it. I don't want any toys. And I saw a kid with one of these ice in it. And like a five-year-old, I was like, I want one of those. And like, do you want the ice cream? No, just the thing. And then I bought, you should buy me these. Um, and so kind of a cool thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I get like a big, a big nice desk in my office one day, at, at my not home office, I'll have like this on the front, you know, like that. I don't know. Um... Outside, they got us with the giant Jurassic World Live books, like I think 15 bucks. And they give you all the, the animals they mentioned. And, oh, and like I said, it's, uh, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but the idea is that here's the dinosaurs and information, and it's kind of, it's, it's all Jurassic Parkified. So, um, so just keep that in mind. But there's like things I want to point out. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, there, and oh, how we made them, and, and so on and so forth. Like these scenes with the Jeeps driving around, and the people interacting, that, that, that was really interesting. And I, I like that a lot. I mean, I, like I said, it wasn't, what I like about Jurassic Park, one at least, in this, in this play, is a human, I mean, even like, you know, if you don't remember, Jurassic Park one, only have dinosaurs on screen for like 15 minutes out of like a two hour movie. And two things, one, that's kind of the, the CGI dinosaurs and the animatronics. So it's only 15 minutes. But when they're not on screen, they're talking about them constantly, right? Whereas a movie like Transformers or the Transformers franchise, uh, the humans are like just the main focus and the Transformers are the background characters, even though, you know, they're similar in numbers and, well, actually they have more Transformers time than the, the, the Jurassic Park. But in this play, like they had dinosaurs everywhere. Every so often an action event would happen, there'd be a fight happening, there'd be moving something around, they went across the world, different places. And again, even though they were talking, you still got a sense of, oh, dinosaurs, but also, it, it, at no point did I feel like, where are the dinosaurs at? You know, like, I didn't feel that. Now, I do know um, there are a lot of small children there, and a lot of small children, you know, when people start talking, it's not something explosive. They uh, 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 will tend to not pay attention. But in, in general, I never felt that before, at that point. I will also point out when the Tyrannosaurus came out, uh, the kids had, in the gift shop, they had, like, little, I wouldn't say lightsabers, but they were, like, light wand things. And if I had an option to buy those, like, you know, those shock things that, you know, they used to shock the dinosaurs in the movies. And when the Tyrannosaurus came out and it was roaring and everything, all the kids 
for shooting the thing at the T Rex. <laughs> like every kid, I, I looked across the entire audience, and every kid's going like, like that, you know, like that. And, and it just reminded me, like, even though I, like I guess I usually teach more adults in, in my experience, but it's like kids like that, that they were all focused kind of thing. Uh, so the books here, uh, we have the tote, because I mean, we didn't, I didn't want a tote, but when you buy that sort of stuff, they're like, it's only five dollars, and that's how they get you. And so the last thing I want to point out is something that uh, I didn't think I wanted, but now that I have it, I'm like, yes. Uh, so this is one of the, uh, what do you call it, the um, ge geospheres. So I think it's one of the, it, yeah, you pull it back. You, know, you pull it back. Oh, no, does it not do that? I don't know. Okay, that's one of them, you like that, and then still it's one that's like that, right? Um, there is a, there's a geosphere toy that comes with the, uh, one of the trucks that I already have. And to give you an idea of a scale or so it's like, you know, it's nice and round and the door, only this door opens. And I brought one of the Owen, one of the many Owen figures that you can buy in this franchise. And, uh, can you see that? You probably can't even see that. Let's see. Let's make this even more, more make sense. Uh, there you go. Put you together because you're from the same time period. And, so that's basically how it looks there. The door, the door opens on the side. This door doesn't open at all. And so... Uh, the little Owen figure, kind of standard at one size, can fit. And can he fit? There he goes. So they fit there. There's no seat belt or clamp like the other Jurassic World Geosphere toy. Because it comes with the fi figures that has a clamp on it. The one you get at the Target or Walmart. But this one does not have a clamp. But, it's, but he still fits in there. It's pretty cool. And again, you, you make it move like this. Uh, there was a, one of these where like a T-Rex mug. Where you squeeze it and the head opens up and you have whatever your food was inside of it. That was pretty cool. But at this point, I felt like I had enough stuff. And, I, and my wife's like, do you want that too? And I said, that will be gratuitous. I can't. It's got to be a limit. Okay, you know. I'm, so, uh, but again, like I said, it's really, it was a really cool experience. Um, my wife and I walked out of it literally saying, man, let's see that again at some point. When it comes, it comes back through Houston again. And so it was really fun. And like I said, I, I, I really enjoyed it. And there was one more thing I wanted to mention, I believe. But I forgot because I'm me. Uh, well, I can't, without, without spoilers, this is a giant book. I mean, it's like, you know, this is like one of those things where, like, giant T-Rex picture. Um, and all kinds of games and puzzles and stuff like that. You know how it's a kid's book, so. I mean, I won't write it because it's a historical record. Oh, there is a picture of the Troy Don. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Can't, what, did it say it here? Oh, Janine. Yeah, Janine. I think they gave it a name. I don't know. So, uh, and so, really kind of cool story. Uh, good guys, bad guys, all the things. You know, Triceratops being uh, being tough like that. Stegosaurus being amazing with a puzzle like that. Yeah, anyway. So, again, I, I endorse this. And, again, for, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, for um, legal YouTube rules reasons, I am not paid by uh, Dinosaur Jurassic World. I have no connection to them. I'm just a dinosaur person who's like seeing dinosaur things. And, and, and I saw this. Now, if you, moving forward, if you have any questions, I'm, I did see go see Jurassic Quest and one of the others of those like, the animatronic places. If you want to know about that too, if these kind of reviews are interesting too, let me know. If not, it's cool. Uh, like, subscribe, all the things below. Um, it really t tells me when you guys are interested that you like something or not. So, um, anyway, thank you guys. See you. And, th and the next video is going to be an actual normal video about some species. Alright, thank you. Later.